Hello everyone! Today's video is going to be another tea update because somehow I made it to three months on tea and that just went by so fast. I'm still on the one pump of Testo Gel which is a half dose. I'm thinking about upping it soon like I feel like the time for that is approaching but I will keep you updated on whatever happens obviously. Also I just want to apologize that it is a bit dark in here it's kind of like I think it's like approaching 6 p.m. Yeah, it's 6.09 p.m. so that's why. And it's also like really overcast today, so yeah, that's that's that. <laughs> but anyway, so on to the updates. So first I'm going to talk about my voice. So I haven't noticed any like audible changes with it yet. Um, I'm getting pretty impatient, but I know I'm only at three months, which is like the really early days. But like, god, I just, I can't wait for that voice drop. But aside from that, I will say that I have been having like a lot of throat stuff going on so I think like three or four weeks ago now I had a couple days where like I felt like I was starting to get sick with a cold or something but I think it was just like a tea cold which is like a really common thing for people on tea so I was getting like a sore throat and um, I was like coughing a bit and was getting like a bit of snot and stuff it was like not a great time and then it just like disappeared after like one and a half days so I'm guessing that that's from tea and apparently that can mean that a voice drop is coming up but I don't think I've had one yet definitely haven't noticed one I also have been having a lot of throat tickles lately I had it for like two weeks straight just to tickly throat on and off every day for two weeks and then it went away for a few days and then as of today it's back so I've got a sore throat and throat tickles and apparently the throat tickles can also indicate a voice drop approaching or just the fact that like your vocal cords are thickening so either one I'm happy with I could be getting my hopes up but I don't know we'll see we will see next is body hair so we'll talk about the hair on my face first and move my way down like I did last time so firstly I definitely think like my face fluff like especially around here is still getting like more fluffy and like denser. I do think it's darkened a bit again as well but I don't know. I think so. I can definitely see it even from a distance in the mirror that it looks a bit darker. And I'm also getting like more chin hairs still that are kind of darkening a little bit and then some of the hair on my neck is also starting to get darker but not the same darkness as like here on my face for some reason. I don't know. Also my moustache seems to be darker again um I had like this one hair on this side that's like darker than all the other ones so I'm hoping that the others will like follow along with that one am I saying follow follow suit is that what people say hopefully all the other ones darken as well soon is what I'm trying to say <laughs> I also think that I've been starting to get more hair growing like kind of above my moustache like right below my nose around here and also like the corners of my mouth here like really tiny little hairs but they're definitely new so that's cool I think I'll like show you my moustache real quick take it a bit close and awkward for a second yeah so that's how my moustache is doing I don't know like how well you can see it and I'm like standing so awkwardly here I must look really weird to my neighbors right now When I was first starting to talk about facial hair when I was like one month on tea, I was like a bit unsure about it. But so far, like, I know the changes are like super subtle, but I am enjoying them so far, which is cool. I'm really liking the way that the darkening of my facial hair, I don't know if I can even call it that yet, but I'm going to anyway. <laughs> um, yeah, I really like that that's sort of starting to shape my face in a certain way that I really like. It's something that I've always kind of wanted I guess so pretty happy with the direction that that's all heading in so far. So now on to other body hair which is really just my torso still like I, I'm not seeing any increase in hair anywhere else which is kind of funny like I'm waiting for some more leg hair to come in but it's nothing seems to be happening down there it's like all focused on my tummy which is fine like I'm pretty happy with how the tummy hair is going so last month I was like sort of seeing the beginning stages of like lots of tummy hair coming in not just my snail trail we'll get to that but my tummy and torso in general like also like my rib cage area and stuff too so the hair that 
was starting to grow there it's definitely gotten like longer and I think a little bit darker how do I put this um like if I'm in the shower or something and it's wet and like you know how the water kind of sticks to all the hairs on your body so you can see like every single hair um that makes it like really noticeable so it's still like you can't really notice from a distance but when I look down at my tummy it's like I see it straight away and it's really cool I'm super happy with having more fluff and like having a hairy tummy is really cool. And then as for my snail trail, that's definitely been getting darker and thicker as well. I mean like it's still pretty sparse and you can, you can't really see it too much from a distance. But again, I can see it when I just like look down, it's like really obvious. And some of the hairs are like starting to really get a lot thicker as well and darker, which is pretty cool. So I'm like super, super happy about that as well. I think now I'm going to talk about my skin. So I don't think that the amount of like spots and acne has increased since last month. Maybe like a tiny bit but I don't think so. And I'm still getting it in the same areas which is like my shoulders and my upper back. And it is starting to like very slowly spread down like further down my back but it's not very much. It's like the odd spot here and there. It's not it's not like it is up here. I am getting like some on my face but not very much at the moment which is good. Like I have a couple but I don't think that you can even really see them. So that's kind of been okay lately to be honest. Although I will say that like even though the amount hasn't exactly increased like the size has at times. This is gonna be a little TMI okay but you know like those spots that you get sometimes that like are really deep under your skin and they really hurt and they get really big and they're there for like two weeks straight. I had one of those like here on my chin and it got so big that it like distorted the shape of half of my chin so it looked like really big on this side and then like little on this side it was like so weird and it took two weeks to go down on its own it was like ridiculous and then I had another one like that on my back as well and it was just like really painful and like not comfortable so I've been having more of those particular spots lately which have not been great but yeah still still tolerable so far which is good one last thing that I don't I don't know if I can like put this under the category of skin. I can't really, but I don't know like where else to put it or say it. But um, I do think that I've been sweating more recently. Not like a super big amount, but I just think I've been sweating a bit more. It is hard to say though because we have had a heat wave recently and I think today is like the last day of that heat wave, thank God. But it's been like pretty bad. So it could also just be that like I've been extremely hot lately and my body's sweating and it's gonna do that anyway so I don't know but I think just in case like it does increase and it is a tea thing that I should bring it up like just in case I don't know and now on to sleep so my insomnia is definitely back in full swing like it's it sucks I think it's largely to do with the heat though I don't I don't know if it's related to hormones or not honestly like when it gets cooler again I'm hoping I'll be able to sleep better but I don't know it's just been taking me ages to get to sleep and then I keep waking up during the night and like every morning at 5 a.m. I just wake up and <laughs> that's been happening for like the past week or so I think the past week which has not been fun but again that could be to do with the heat because I go to sleep feeling kind of okay in terms of temperature and then by the time I get to 5 a.m. I like wake up and I think it's because of how hot I am by that point like I'm just boiling at 5 a.m. so that's probably why I'm waking up but yeah just in case that becomes a thing as well I'm just gonna mention it yeah, but hopefully this does not continue because it sucks. <laughs> I will say though and I don't know if these two things are related or not but I have a theory that they are since my insomnia has been increasing my dream recall has also been increasing because if you remember last time i was saying that because i'm sleeping more deeply or i was anyway i had not been remembering remembering my dreams as well because i was only remembering them maybe like two or three times a week and now i'm remembering them like from every every night and that's been since the insomnia has increased to the point that it currently is so i don't know if it's that i'm like sleeping more lightly or I don't know, unless it was just like a little phase I was going through of like not remembering my dreams. I don't know, I thought I'd mention it. And the last thing to do with sleep is that, and I don't know if this is related to hormones or not, but it, it might be, um, is that I've been snoring more lately. I keep waking myself up because I start snoring and 
I never ever used to snore. It, I say never ever, but I would snore like when I was extremely tired and exhausted and that would be like a few times a year, I want to say, at least to my knowledge. It wasn't very often, but now I feel like it's happening quite a bit. I want to say like, if not most nights, then like every other night. I definitely noticed it last night as well that I was snoring. I will say that I know my dad was a pretty big snorer. Like I remember it was extremely loud every single night and it was just anytime he dropped off, he would start snoring. So I don't even know how he slept through it, honestly. But anyway, um, so I'm hoping it doesn't like turn into that because I don't know, I don't know how I could be able to sleep through that and I wouldn't want to like disrupt other people in my house from it. I don't know. But obviously like snoring isn't a choice so like no shame if you're someone who snores. Like obviously you can't help it but I don't want to be a snorer. <laughs> I don't know. Um, yeah so I don't know if that's related to hormones or not but just in case it is I am putting it out there. Now I'm going to really briefly touch on migraines and it's going to be very brief because all I'm going to say is that it has really gone back to its usual pattern of having one like two to three times a month and they're not more or less painful or anything like that. Nothing's really that different to the usual. So I don't think I'll be updating you on migraines anymore unless there's like a really significant change that I think is related to tea. So that's that. <laughs> it's kind of a shame, but I was kind of expecting it. Two other little tidbits, um, or it might be one because I don't know I don't know if the thing I'm about to tell you is going to stay in. I might edit it out because it's like real awkward TMI. Alright, we're going to go straight to the next topic now. So, uh, the other day I was in the pharmacy picking something up. It wasn't even my prescription, but yeah, one of the employees there referred to me as a gentleman, which was really cool, but then I think she saw that I was wearing leggings and shorts and she like corrected herself. Which I hate when people do that because you're not correcting yourself. But anyway, she saw me as a gentleman at first and that was quite nice. I quite like being referred to in that way. But when she like corrected herself, she still looked really unsure. She was like really quiet and she was like, sorry, I mean, girl. But she was like, still not quite sure, I think. Unless she just felt really awkward about it. But uh, yeah, that was kind of funny. Honestly, I like really thrive on that confusion. It's the best. Something about that is very affirming. Like I really like when people can't tell what gender I am. It's great. That's everything that I have to update you on in terms of tea. I'm sorry that I haven't been uploading as frequently lately. Um, I just have not really been feeling well, just with migraines and everything. So I haven't really been up to making stuff that often. So I'm sorry about that and I will try to get back on track again now that I'm starting to feel better. I do have like a few ideas in mind for stuff that I want to make and I also have like things that are half filmed and edited that I really need to finish so there is stuff still going on but I just haven't been feeling great lately and I've also been like really busy so yeah haven't had much time to film stuff and I'm sorry about that but I'm still around so just so you know, I'm not disappearing. But that is everything that I have to say for now. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time.